In this video, we're going to show you how to release the upper traps using a tennis ball. So the upper traps can be can get very, very tight, especially when you've lost your normal cervical curve and you have your shoulders rounding forward. That puts incredible strain along the back of the neck because it's trying to hold your head on <laughs> because your head starts to weigh more and more the further it comes forward and the loss of curve that you have underneath the surface. So this doesn't necessarily restore your cervical curve. That's about getting adjusted and using your traction pillow at home, but it does help to release some of the strain and all of this works together to rehab this area of your body. So to use the tennis ball technique on the upper traps, you'll need to find a corner like this and then just identify, you may be assigned one side or the other, or maybe you need to do both sides. Place the tennis ball right on the top of your shoulder, so turn so they can see you. Yeah, right on the top of your shoulder like that. You'll hold it in place and then bend forward to use the edge of the wall. Great, obviously can't see through her, but she's got the tennis ball right here and she's putting a good amount of pressure into the very top of her shoulder with the tennis ball against the corner. And you'll see that there's a chair here, so you might like to use a chair to help support your body because for each side, you're gonna to wanna to spend between two and five minutes to completely release both muscle and the fascia. And this can typically be a very sore area. Once you have one area that's feeling pretty good, if you still have time on the clock, you can just ever so slightly roll around a little bit. You may need to use your hand to kind of help the ball so it doesn't fall and then find another spot, but avoid the temptation just to roll a lot. You really want to keep the ball in one spot and let the pain dissipate from there.